Alright guys, welcome to my um, CG coloring video. Um, well today I'm going to show you the basics of how to color like, manga style or whatever you want to call it. Um, well, first of all you want to have your picture open in Photoshop. So you do that by going to File. Well, I already have mine open, but you do that by going to File, Download Open, and then browse through the picture you want to color in the folders that you saved it in. Alright, well first we're going to start off by, uh, well I'm going to start off by showing you how to use certain tools that I usually use while coloring. Alright, well we have the brush tool here, which of course is to, you know, color, whatever. Alright, let me undo that. And then we have the eraser tool, which is to of course erase. And then the blur tool, which I'll usually use to uh, soften a bit the edges of the stuff I colored. And then we have here the the burn tool, which I will generally use to make things darker, but I won't use it to color anymore, but just to make things darker. Some people like to just use it instead of the brush tool to make shadows and stuff, but I don't, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I think it makes the picture look trashy and not really that great. Alright, well first, or I mean, the other tool that I use is the dodge tool, which you can usually get to that by um, holding your left uh, mouse button on it, and then just moving your mouse over and clicking on it. And I use this to lighten um, colors or to make highlights or anything like that. Alright, well, oh yes, and for those of you using the mouse, <coughs> I would suggest using the, let's see here, the polygonal lasso tool. But since I use a tablet, I'll just, uh, I'll just call it a paintbrush. Alright, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but <laughs> usually if you have a mouse, you like using the polygonal lasso tool to uh, select things, and then use the the paint bucket to color it. Alright, well I hope that makes sense, and here we go. Alright. Well, first things first is to right click on your background layer after you've opened your picture of course and select um, uh, oh what am I doing that mind alright first thing you want to do is double click on your background layer and name it um, let's see outline and then go down to here where it says color and change it to whatever color you want, just color code it and so you know that it's your outline there. I'll usually just pick red because it's the closest thing there. And then you want to change your mode to multiply. And then click OK, make sure the opacity is 200. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a really bad cold. Anyways. Now what you want to do is click here on this paper flying looking icon B. You want to click it so that it brings up a new layer just call it layer 1 and what you want to do is, uh, is call that white and you just change the name by just click on, clicking on it and just writing the name and press enter and then you want to go here and click on the paint bucket tool and y if you want to change your color which we are we want to paint over the picture with white you want to click on the square and then move the toggle around to the white or any color that you might need later on. Now it's just paint over it by clicking on it. See? Now it all becomes white. Now what you want to do is uh, right click on the outline layer and uh, click on duplicate layer and you can color the outline copy if you want. You can change it if you like but I'm just going to leave it like that. That's okay. And then what you want to do is move this up on top of the white, so there it shows. And now what you want to do is duplicate the outline layer once more, press OK. 
and then move it on top of the outline copy. And as you can see, it makes a more striking look, but, you know, we're not going for the complete striking look. Well, if you like it that way, you can leave it, but I'm going to change it so it can become more uh, smoother and glossier. And we do that by uh, clicking on the, the first outline copy. Uh, excuse me, I'm a little out of breath because I'm very, I have a flu. Alright, and then we go to filter, blur, oops, and down to lodge and blur. Um, depending on the size of your picture is how much you want to blur it to, but I usually blur it in high numbers like this so it becomes this blurry. Just, you know, play around with it and see what looks best to you. Click on OK. And then you want to um, click on the on light outline copy 2 and then go to filter, blur, and gauge and blur once more. This time you're going to make it a lot less lower. I'm going to put it around. Mm, 0 0.4 pixels. Alright, and yeah, now it gives it a lot more uh, softer, blurry look. <coughs> Alright, well, next, so we can start coloring here, is you want to click on the white layer, and then um, click on this uh, to create a new layer here. And there will be a new layer on top of the white layer. Make sure it's on top of the white layer and under the outline copy. That way you can actually color. Because if it was like under the white layer, you wouldn't be able to color. Alright. I'm going to double click on the layer 1. Name it uh, skin. Because we're going to color that first. But you can name it something else. You know, it doesn't matter. Name it uh, skin will do for all, you, for all I care. I don't know. Press enter, I mean. Alright, make sure that uh, your skin is on normal, and also make sure that your outline copy is on multiply. Alright? Alright. So, you want to zoom in. Ooh, okay. <coughs> and then, you're going to come over here, or you're going to click on the paintbrush tool. And, uh, let's say, pick a hard get the hard brush the hardness all the way to 100 just make the size big enough so that when you uh, put your palette palette next to your let's see to the to the to the drawing you you can choose it easily I don't know if that makes sense or not but whatever nothing makes sense at 5.09 a.m. <laughs> all right well click on the um, the color picker here and then select the color of the skin you want. For um, my character's color, I'll usually give her a more pale look. Let's see. Alright, this is good. Um, you always want to go from lightest to dark. Here's my lightest color, which is my bottom color. Then my medium color. Oh, never mind. Let me step backward because I didn't have the opacity of my brush big enough. You see this right here? Um, you want to have it to 100 when you color with the paintbrush. I didn't see that, but good thing I caught that. Alright. Gotta choose it again. Now that's better. Now you can see the color better. Before you could hardly see it. Alright. Now let's I'm going to take my second color. And now my third color. Here we go. Alright. Well, you want to click here on the um, eyedropper tool. And then you want to click on your first color. And then, <coughs> excuse me, then go back to your uh, paintbrush tool. And start coloring on the skin. 